Alright, action. little review on these DeWalt power tools. In particular, a recent purchase, this saw. I'm definitely, you know, impressed that the guard is very easy to work. The trigger isn't too bad. It has a rafter hook. Um, and it runs a full size seven and a quarter blade. Um, I won't say that the power is overly impressive or something, but it did. I'm running off 20 volt batteries. It did give me the option. There were a couple other models that took uh, bigger batteries. Um, that's the model of this. Uh, the real story though, I think in a review are these. Um, I've been way up on the roof and everywhere and ride my bike and drop them out of my backpack. I, these have easily fallen 15 feet and maybe even the little driver bit got bent. Moreover, these are probably working on seven to 10 years old. I have, that's an original battery right there. I've never, this is, we found this on the side of the road somewhere. I may have gotten this one a couple years ago to just power some bigger stuff, but I think it has a all metal. The hammer just works amazing for such a small drill. They call it a DCD 795. And you know, there's other versions that are newer. I have a hard time, you know, you can't find what was, but that's what that was. Um, and like I said, they've been wonderful, um, good RPMs, good power, still the original batteries. They're working fine. Um, and this is just, I've had this about a year, and I'm just have it out doing some little forms for my cement work over there. But that said, it will cut a 2x4, no problem. A few sheets OSB on the roof. You don't have a cord to drag around. Its tool goes in it. I think that's really nice. It's hard to pull it out. Um, that way you don't just drop it. I don't mean it's hard like a disadvantage. I mean, it just doesn't fall out of there, you know. And I love that it's easy to adjust. You can see this great big. You still got the quirky trigger with uh, where you had to pull, push one thing and pull another as all battery drills. But it's this one in particular isn't too bad. It's got the lever so you can lock it up and change the blade real easy and if i didn't mention it the brake it uh it will immediately stop so yeah there you go the they call it a flex i've heard some different things about that you know do your own research there i doubt and then i see somebody bad mouthing something on the internet but i've Overall, I trust the company. I haven't had a trouble with it. Like I said, it isn't going to do 100 rafters at a commercial framing site, but you need to make some OSB cuts on a roof or forms or whatever. It's pretty comfortable to handle it. I like the hook. It's a good saw. Good tools.